Hi everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. I'm going to do something completely different today and that's because we have a new dehydrator. Um, Ernie Hatmaker did the unboxing. is this thing right here. What is it? Prepare your kitchen and your appetite. I bet it's a cookbook. Let's find out. It's a cookbook. Recipes. Let's see here. Yeah, it's really nice. User manual. Probably never look at that again. Can't get this bad boy out of here. Hey, look at that. Mesh trays. Probably just like the ones I just got. <laughs> no wait, these aren't stainless steel. These are plastic. But these trays will keep leaves and other things that you dehydrate from falling down. Look at that. But I can make some fruit roll-ups with that. And I opened up the back to push it around. And look at that. Mesh trays. open it up. How do we open it? Just like that. And then we put those trays in there. Slide them in. Alright, so there's a fan right there, which means you can't block the back. Yep, there's vent holes back there. Let's take them in there, Ed. <laughs> it looks like a time machine. So it's got the cheat sheet. And it tells you um, the different types of things you can cook, um, what type they are classified as, uh, peels, regular fruit, herbs, nuts, uh, vegetable, etc. I see meat over there too. And then it tells you how you prepare them to go into um, the dehydrator here. And then it tells you the um, texture that it should be whenever it comes out. And it will tell you the dry time. And then of course there are the recipes, which I know that it's going to make some jerky really soon for you guys. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of jerky recipes. In fact, this whole thing is jerky. Not quite the whole thing. It's a big, big chunk from page 9 to page 26, front and back of jerky. Honey bourbon peaches? What? Snacks. This looks like carrot chips, zucchini chips, yeah, kale chips. Green onion garlic crackers. That sounds good. And then there's sweets. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Look at that. Yeah, this thing looks like it's um, pretty uh, interesting. To, to work with here. And I'll tell you, um, if you're gonna put this on your countertop, these vents are on both sides and so are the handles, but the fact that you need these vents right here suggests that this isn't like a microwave or a toaster oven, even though it, you know, it, it looks like one, it's about the size of one, but because the, the front is actually where the side would be on a microwave, you're not going to be able to really fit this thing on your shelf and put things between it without it sticking out some. So if you'd like that, I don't know, clean, countertop look, you're probably only going to want to pull this out and then put it back up when you're done. It won't be part of the decor. This instruction manual looks like about the Ten Commandments. <laughs> I don't know. There's a bunch of do nots. There's like nine do nots and then one big never right there. So um, I'm probably going to read this. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably not. The important thing is, is only use the dehydrator as directed in this manual. So you pretty much have to read it to make sure you don't screw it up, right? Look at that. Save these instructions. All right, so this is the basic diagram here. The housing, the handles, the control panel, all that good stuff. And then it tells you where the fan is, which you can see the fan. I think you saw it when I put the camera inside it. So it says before your first use, and it talks about setting it up and cleaning everything with a moistened cloth. Um, the trays are dishwasher safe, but it says don't wash the mesh screen or the fruit roll sheet in a dishwasher. Then you have the care and maintenance and then the warranty um, information. And it, it tells you, you know, what the warranty is good for. Now, if you buy this machine used, uh, um, you know, that, that's between you and who you bought it from. See that right there? It says, show us what you're making. And then there's like uh, the uh, hashtag, I cook Kosori. And they even have a YouTube channel. Look at that. They have a YouTube channel. All I know is I'm going to make some jerky. So, man, I, I'm, I'm real excited about this. So we have this uh, chuck. Chuck, ground chuck, not, not ground chuck. <laughs> Groundhog? Not groundhog. So, I have this chuck roast, um, and, and I've already cut it into 
real small strips. So uh, the manual that, uh, that came with the dehydrator said it needed to be around five millimeters or so. Um, I think I'm close, but I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this into a bowl and get a marinade going. Also, if you see this stuff that's sitting here, uh, n never mind all of that, we're also doing a lot of canning right now, and that's also gonna be on Ernie Hatmaker's page so, or channel, so you can go over and see what it is that we're canning, what it is that we're gonna be eating for the next 10 years. Um, but anyway, so we're going to go ahead and like I said, I'm going to get this in here and I'm going to do a marinade now. This is just kind of my own little marinade, something I thought up and I thought it would kind of be nice together. So we're going to have this chuck. Let's go ahead and we'll get this in there. And I had thought about doing pineapple, pineapple and like brown sugar or something like that, but I decided to go with applesauce. So I'm going to put two of these uh, little applesauce containers in with it. Just dump it right in. I mean, because it's all going to get mixed together and it's going to sit and marinate for, uh, I don't know, a, a little bit, a couple hours at least. Hopefully we can get the, uh, the flavor of this into the meat. So do the other applesauce. And... I'm gonna put some brown sugar on it. And I don't really know exactly how much, like I said, this, this is just kind of my own idea. Uh, I don't have a recipe that I'm following for this, so. And I'm gonna put some onion powder and some garlic powder. So that is gonna be the marinade. And of course, this isn't open. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, take my gloves off and, and do that, but. Uh, so in goes the garlic powder. Uh, that's yeah, a little more. That's good. And and you can kind of it smells good too. So anyway, since I'm not touching the meat anymore, I can take these gloves off. I guess. You'll touch it when you. So. Oh, you're just gonna take. Well, it yeah, I'll, I'll just put the lid on it and shake it around instead of having to. Or if it comes down to it, I'll put more gloves on. So anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now, and uh, when I get ready to put it in the dehydrator, uh, I'm going to bring you guys back and show you uh, how everything looks as it goes in. How's that? And it plugged it up, and I'm guessing that's the time temp thing, because I didn't look at the instructions to see what it's supposed to do when you plug it. I thought you knew what was going on with this. It doesn't matter. We'll learn together. I told y'all we wouldn't be using the instructions. <laughs> just, just kidding. We're going to look at the instructions before we start because Ed pays attention to detail. Controls. Press start stop to start or stop the dehydrator. Uh -huh. Press temp time once and use the plus and minus buttons to change the temperature. Okay, so that's not a clock. Uh, press Temp time a second time and use the plus and minus buttons to change the time. So if you push it once, so you're changing temperature the temperature. Yeah, temperature and then time. Yeah. Okay. Operation. Place the food on the trays and rearrange the trays to fit thicker food items. So if you got something too thick, one or two trays might have to go. Mm -hmm. Depending on humidity, times may vary. Uh, avoid overloading the trays or overlapping food. Close the dehydrator door. The dehydrator will beep after plugging in, and the display shows 88.88. .88. Uh, the dehydrator will switch to standby mode after three seconds, and we'll show what we're seeing now. Okay. Press temp time to choose the temperature. The temperature will blink on the display, and the plus minus buttons will light up. Let's see what the temperature was in the recipe box. You want to stick your face in it and tell everybody how warm it is in there? No, I don't. But what I did want to say is this has been sitting in the refrigerator in the marinade for two and a half days now. So about, uh, about 60 hours. So this ought to be... Good and marinated. Very, yes, very marinated by now. So... So the plan is, 
just uh, lay it out on these trays and let the, uh, the dehydrator do all the work, I guess. There can be some tiny little pieces in here, I guess, too. Huh? Now, I said this before in the, the first part of the video, so by the time you guys watch this, you'll, you'll hear me repeat a couple of things, but I'm not real sure about the, the fat that's on this. I don't know how well it's going to make a jerky because I've never done jerky before, but I tried to get most of the fat off of this when I was cutting these pieces, so hopefully they'll they'll do okay. Come yeah. on, it's, it's not Tetris here. Well, no, but there's a lot of meat in this bowl, so. I know I got a bunch of trays to pull out and put it all on, so. But it did say in the instructions also, don't don't have the, the food overlapping. Yeah, that, that's actually a rule for anything that you're dehydrating, so yeah, it's a good rule of thumb. Like I said, it's my first attempt at this, so. Yeah, you said it enough, you can say other stuff now. I know that it smells really good coming out of this bowl, though. Man, that's a big old, I don't even want to say that. Big old what, Ant? I don't even want to say that that's a big, thick piece of meat. All right, put that one in. I just thought about it. I guess it don't matter if I touch the tray with this on my hands because I'm putting it on the tray, right? Let's see how thick that is. If it makes jerky out of it, I bet you that's going to be a good piece. Of course, I don't know. Jerky work better if it's thinner or thicker. I don't know. Maybe some of our viewers can chime in on that in the comments, huh? Well, that's disgusting. That one tried to hit the floor. It's got a bunch of goop on it. Yeah. How well do those trays slide in and out? They slide in great. They fit perfect. So. Very minimal effort having to move them in and out. All the little, but yeah, looks like they should be pretty easy to clean. Six hours. There we go. Now that bottom piece, see the one on the bottom left? No, not that, that's the drip pan. Let's make sure nothing else dripped out since you pulled the pan out. But anyway, oh, you know what, Alan's here. Alan, this is creation. I'm gonna try beef, a piece of beef jerky. Why are you scared? So you like the flavor of it. Then you eat Chef Boyardee. Describe what you're eating right now. Tell me the stuff you're eating and tell me the texture. Okay, so it's not quite as dry as some of the beef. 